72. What is the limiting reactant when 1.50 grams of lithium and 1.50 grams of nitrogen combine to form lithium nitride, a component of advanced batteries, according to the following unbalanced equation? And they give me the equation right here. I'm just going to write this out real big. So we have lithium plus nitrogen, which is N2. It's a diatomic, and that will give us Li3N. Now they said it's unbalanced, so pause the video if you want to try to unbalance, you know, try to balance it yourself. We've done tons of problems. If you guys are on the playlist uh, to learn how to balance, so you could always go back there for a refresher. But it looks like, let's see, I'm going to put a two in front of here to balance out the nitrogens, and then that means I need a six here, and we're done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to list out what we have. Now for each one of these, I have 1.5 grams, right? So I have 1.50 grams of the lithium, and I have 1.50 grams of the nitrogen. Now, I love these types of you know, questions because it's all like systematized, and all we got to do is just make a chart, all right, for now, right? Whenever they ask for the limiting reagent or the limiting reactant, it means the same thing, you're going to draw a line down the two reactants, right? Remember, reactants are always the left side of the yield sign. And you're going to turn it into like a, eh, I don't like that line. That's pretty good. A four-tier chart. Basically, you have one, two, and then these two are going to be empty slots. And you're going to say that the top part is what you have. So I'll say, I have, this is what my, you know, I was started with, 1.50 grams of each. And you need to find out how much you need. So we have to find one of these numbers. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, you're going to either start with lithium, and by doing that, you always solve for the other component. So you either use stoichiometry to go from 1.50 grams of lithium to grams of N2, or 1.5 grams of N2 to find out the grams of lithium. It does not matter which one you want to do. You will get the same answer and the same limiting reactant at the end of the day. Since this is on the left-hand side, uh, let's do that one. Okay, so I'm going to start with the 1.5 grams of the lithium and just, you know, use my little uh, grams to moles to moles to grams stoichiometry, uh, you know, help guide here. And I'm just going to cater it to what I have. I have 1.50 grams of not A anymore, but lithium. So I can convert to moles of lithium, right? We've seen this many times. Then I can go to moles of the one that I'm looking for, which is N2, and then finally grams of N2. Okay, so let's get cracking. 1.50 grams of lithium. We're going to just do our ratios, right, guys? So I'm going to put grams of lithium on the bottom. I look over. I want to go to moles. So moles of lithium goes on the top. And gram to mole relationship of the same element in this case is the periodic table. And if you're using the periodic table, it's always one mole is whatever the mass is on the periodic table. In this case, one lithium for me is 6.94. If you want to round to seven, that's fine. Okay, cancel out grams of lithium. Let's go to the next conversion. Mole of lithium now goes on the bottom, right? And you know, you look ahead. Now I'm switching colors. Moles of N2 is on the top. A mole to mole conversion of two different compounds or elements is the balanced equation, the BE. All we got to do is find out where these are and just write down the coefficient numbers. Here is nitrogen. There was no number in front. That means that there's one. And then here is lithium. There's a six in front of here. So, I'm going to put a 6 for the lithium and a 1 for the nitrogen. And now we're done with that conversion. Keep going. Mole of nitrogen goes on the bottom because I want to cancel that out. And grams of nitrogen go on the top because that's where I want to go. Right? I want to get this number right here. And we're back to a gram to mole uh, ratio of the same molecule. So that's, once again, the periodic table one mole for periodic table, and then get the mass. In this case, we have two nitrogen, so I need to times that number by two, 
zero, two. Cancel out moles of N2. And now we're going to find out how much do we need. 1.5 times 28.02 divided by 6.94 and then divide by 6. Okay, so I get 1 point, we'll say 1.01, and that's grams of N2. So if we used the 1.5 grams of lithium, that means that I need 1.01 grams of N2. So I'm going to put that down. Now that's all the math that you have to do. Now we just have to talk about what's going on here. And this will give you the answer of whether it's a limiting reactant or not. Now, you say to yourself, okay, I have 1.5 grams of N2, but I only need 1.1 grams of N2. Is there going to be any left over? So maybe that's the question that you have to ask yourself. Any left over? Right? Usually we call this excess. If you have 1.5 and you only need 1.01 grams, yeah, there is going to be some excess, right? How much excess? You would just take these two numbers and subtract it. So 0 0.49 grams of excess, right? If I just quickly do the math, just so I don't, I don't get it wrong. Yeah, 0.49, right? And if you have any in excess, this is called the excess reagent. This is not the limiting reagent or the limiting reactant. The limiting reactant is always going to be used up. So basically, if we did it the opposite way and we found out this, I can guarantee you that this number is higher than what you started with. So it'd be like two grams. And then look, it says, I have 1.5 grams, but I need more. Is there any left over? No, because I'm using up all the 1.5 grams. So in this case, you can be sure that lithium is the limiting reactant. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, tell your friends, tell your classmates about the channel if you want to. Thank you so much for that. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And yeah, I look forward to helping you in future problems. I hope you are having a great day and keep studying hard, guys, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.